on the bang bang. This is going to be sort of my take on gimmicky guitar gadgets. But instead of uh, doing like sensei, I'm going to show my gimmicky guitar gadgets, my inventions. We're gonna go through a couple of ones that are old and sort of fully functional. But then I wanna mainly focus on things that never really left the prototype or idea stage because I think that could be kind of fun. It's things that never became good enough to get their own dedicated video. I think it might be kind of fun. We need a guitar. HP signature guitar that he hooked me up with. Link his channel as well in the description. Obviously, there's a samurai link as well. Let's start this off with sort of a disclaimer that some of these are ridiculous in the worst way possible. One of these actually exists. <laughs> Fire. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. Just to start with something, let me show you this, for example, that I did way, way back. It's a 9 volt to USB power adapter. So you can take power from your pedal power supply and, and plug that in and then you have USB power. Uh, these days most or at least some pedal power supplies actually have USB power. I, I was there way before that. This is one of these car adapters that you plug in your car and you get USB. In the car it's 12 volts but it works just as good with 9 volts so it's really easy to do. Pick this plastic thingamajingy apart and you solder ground to ground and power to power. I also did in sort of the same spirit and the same format, especially a 9 volt light bulb as well. If it's dark during a gig or whatever, you could turn that on and you could fill with your pedals. Funny ideas, also really easy to do. Moving on from that, however, I did this. This is a solar expression pedal. So this is a solar panel that is just soldered to the output. That's literally all it is. So I could actually do a DIY video on that. Not that I need to, because it's literally to soldering. What's important to note, however, is that I have no idea if it's harmful for pedals, but I've had this for several years now and I haven't damaged any pedal. So it's really fun oh, for like a pedal like the raster, for example. I mean, based on whatever pedal you have, having an expression pedal like this is really fun. Uh, obviously, kind of hard to, I don't know, you can do it with your foot, but it's uh, much fun if you play pedals with something else than guitar. So let's move on. One idea that I had once back in the day was to make a pick out of a magnet. This is just a regular magnet. It's not shaped like a pick, but getting an even bigger one, really strong magnet, and shaping it like a pick would be a fun idea. Why, you might ask, that sounds really, really dumb. Uh, yes, kinda, but obviously it's gonna stick to anything magnetic, so that's kinda stupid. But what you can do, let's go clean on this. Like I'm not touching the string, but I'm getting the string to vibrate. I thought it could be cool, like possible to do some cool stuff, but it's very hard, so I never took it further.
so it's really hard to play with it because it it you sort of good workout maybe. Whew. <laughs> Moving on to another pick though, because why not? This is something that I also thought could be a fine idea. So I just put it together really, really, really fast. It's a piezo element, a piezo disc. So I thought it could be fun to have a contact microphone guitar pick. If it would have been a good idea, I would have worked out a design for it. Now we sort of have to hold it. It's not very cool at all. But I always thought that maybe layering it together with just plain old guitar could be a cool idea. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not one of my brightest ideas. <laughs> Eh. We can do another contact microphone one. This actually has a lot of potential. It's just a contact microphone put on a slider. So I just duct taped it, but I mean, if one can make a slider that is in good shape for this, then that's got a lot of potential. No more guitar, as you can see, only the slider. Yeah, I don't <laughs> still want to do it. <laughs> like, it's kind of cool. I mean, this is also one of those where it's potentially kind of cool to layer. Just with the guitar signal. Like, since it's a contact microphone, obviously, it, like, just fingering it that makes it sound... Speaking of fingering, <laughs> let's move on to... So, this, by far, the gimmick I guess, if that's a, that's a new word. It's the dick pick. Huh? Silly person. It's a pick on a string. And the idea is that <laughs> the idea is that you have the pick attached in your pocket at all times. So when you're shredding and you accidentally drop it, go straight back. Cause it's the dick pick. It's time to rock out with your cock out. Literally. So that's probably the worst one. Then we of course had things that make it to an entire, like gets a dedicated video. Uh, this for example, the FM transmitter, which I think is really, really smart. You just plug it in and then any given FM radio becomes an amp. But if we're gonna move on to a kind of a funny thing, uh, I don't know if this has been on the Kimiki Guitar Gadget series, but I made this like way back, bottle opener copo. So I thought that was kind of funny. This is my prototype. So you have like a copo, and then you can open. Maybe this is a better direct. So you're rocking out and then you can open it. Your bowels. It already exists. It is a full, there is a full on product. I just didn't know. I tried to Google a lot of the things I do because it, it, there's a high risk that it's been done before. Uh, but yeah, that was kind of uh, just oh, <laughs> funny. So the last thing I'm gonna show in this video uh, is this, which is an automatic 
a fidget spinner. One of those hand fans, but with a fidget spinner on it instead. When fidget spinners was a thing, like a cool way to play guitar. <laughs> But as you're noticing, it's way too weak to drive the fidget spinner. So then I just took it off. And that gives us this spinning little spin tip. So then you can have a spin tip pick, which is uh, surprisingly cool. Because you get the motor. But it also functions as a pick. So you get this completely broken signal, which I thought was fun, I guess. Uh, I guess the main goal is always to find something that is creatively inspiring, which is not always that easy, but that's kind of the sentiment of this video as well. Uh, just do, 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 because ah, you never know when a really surface level dumb idea is gonna push through and become your legacy. <laughs> no, you, you never know when something is genius until you actually try it out, until you do it. Most of the things that I do start sort of like this with a silly prototype and if that's inspiring I continue and I turn it into something and this goes for uh, any instrument like I, I do things with any and all instruments kind of but I thought it could be fun to do a spin-off on guitar because uh, this is such an established series by samurai guitarist I might do this again when I have another batch of things that <laughs> that aren't particularly good but I hope you got the premise that this was never a video to be very guitar play it was more like hey look what I did I'm very interested in if any of you have gimmicky guitar gadgets that you have come up with it can be whatever so join the discord link in description or just leave a comment uh, on this video and let's make the guitar a better world